secure golfer with a high swing speed and generate a lot of spin off the tee, we're going to show you why the Titleist TSI-4 driver might be right for your game. Hey golfers, Drew Mahold and Thomas Campbell here in the Second Swing Minnetonka Tour Van with the new Titleist TSI-4 driver. In addition to the TSI line from Titleist, kind of their low spinning, more compact club head. Thomas, I know this is right up your alley. So. Uh, trying to you know chase distance for you as a high swing player chasing distance does mean keeping spin down and keeping that launch a little bit lower so tsi4 um, first impressions just even looking at it um, and what do you think we're going to see in testing today first impression that pear shaped look love it mm -hmm. love the look of that pear shaped look i've always you know like that little more compact head to look down at i just know that you know it forces me to hit the middle of the face but when I hit it in the middle of the face, I know that spin rate is going to stay down and I'm going to get some really, really high ball speed. So I'm excited to hit it. We're also going to be testing it against the TSI-3 driver as well. So that's also a lower spinning option, more compact head from Titleist, and we're going to compare the differences there as well. Absolutely, and uh, you know, if you've been watching our channel, you know Thomas has been gaining that distance, gaining that swing speed, so this will be a great test to see really how far he can hit the Titleist TSI drivers. I'm excited to watch him hit, watch him hit some bombs and we're gonna gather some data and break down the Titleist TSI-4 driver. So Thomas, you ready to get after it? Let's do it, this is gonna be fun. So Thomas, five shots in with the TSI-4 and my goodness, there's some uh, explosiveness coming off the TSI-4 there. If we bring up, I mean, first of all, let's bring up this, this dispersion here and I mean, this is carry distance, by the way. Everything is over 300 with the except of one that was, I think this is your first shot, that was 299.9. So, uh, and I, I, like I said, right up your alley, it's got the compact head, it's 425 cc. So actually a good amount, yeah, fewer, uh, you know, cc than the 460 kind of limit. So yep. interesting, but it still packs the punch clearly. Yeah, that first shot, it was a miss hit. Who knows the smash factor drop on that. Both speed dropped quite significantly, but it chased out there low spinning clubs as, mm -hmm. as, as it still will and still forgiving enough i mean yes it's a smaller profile i would have called that first shot a clear miss hit but i mean compared I mean, to the other four it was yeah i but, guess i mean i guess if you're going to compare all five and there's i mean this is the one probably that would be the quote-unquote outlier uh the one that, that you missed but again i mean now this is the fact that you're swinging it with i mean the way you swing the club is efficient already but you just carried the ball five consecutive times over 300 yards with that TSI-4 driver. So uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So, and then part of our test today, we wanted to compare the TSI-3 uh, just to get, well, one, want to get your feedback on the appearance of the club heads at address because it's a yep. smaller shape of the TSI-4 just to see how different that really is. But then also we'll see the spin differences and, and launch and identify, you know, the, the comparison between TSI-3 and TSI-4. So um, that'd be the next step here. Sounds good. So first of all, you're swinging the driver pretty, pretty well today, I'd say. Yeah, I'm um, feeling good today. Yeah. I think we saw a little bit of what we would maybe expect in terms of the distance, or excuse me, the, the difference in spin. Uh, just a little bit, what, maybe 150 to 200, something like that RPM more with the TSI-3. But I did want to ask you about the appearance at address uh, because it's, I mean, I think it's supposed to be kind of a larger profile, the TSI-3. Is that what you noticed or was there not much of a difference? Yeah, it's definitely a little larger profile. I'm going to grab the uh, TSI-4 hand and just kind of kind of look at the differences here. So one thing I notice is I'm looking at the club face. The TSI-4, the area, just looks a little bit smaller. So I'm looking at where the center of the face is, the lines and everything yeah. like that. The TSI-4 looks a little bit smaller, a little bit more compact. I believe it's 425 cc's. Definitely looks a little bit smaller than the TSI-3. And I think we noticed that a little bit with kind of the forgiveness. The TSI-3, that spin consistency was mm -hmm. really, really impressive. It really kind of impressed me across the face there. Now, this is hot. The TSI-4, when I hit it really well, it went. On average, it had a little bit less ball speed than the TSI-3, but the ones that I hit really solid and able to get that spin rate down by 200 RPMs, it definitely chased out a little bit more. And there was a couple that I really mm -hmm. smoked with the TSI-4 just to give me a couple extra yards. Yeah, yeah. I mean, 
the, I mean, the distance itself is very uh, comparable out there, right? I mean, actually, your average carry distance was very similar. Now there was the TSI-4 miss hit. I think your first swing there miss hit. Uh, but overall, the, the difference is going to be spin, right? So example, if you are someone that um, really generates a lot of spin and you can kind of confidently say that you hit the center of the club face most of the time, I think TSI-4 is probably the driver for you. But if you're somebody that does maybe miss the center a little bit more, need that maybe larger club face, that larger, uh, that kind of the aerospace titanium club face there, need more of that surface area to work with, TSI-3 is probably the one to, to, uh, that's going to fit you. But I mean, looking at these numbers, it's they're both gonna they're both gonna chase out there, right? That that new club face material, that aerospace titanium, is hot. Uh, there's some serious uh, serious punches packed into these drivers. Yeah, I think it's important to note TSI four is gonna fit a very very select amount yeah. of people, mm -hmm. where the TSI two and the TSI three is gonna fit the majority of golfers. Right. Just like the other end of the spectrum, TSI one is going to fit the slower swing speed golfers. Mm -hmm. That that maj that small majority. Yeah. TSI four small majority at the other end. TSI two and three will be most for most golfers. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But um, so yeah, I mean, we tested the the drivers with the same shaft, right? Project X Hazardous Smoky Yellow. Yep. Um, one of the stock offerings there for TSI four. Uh, so there's some serious performance into the TSI four driver and TSI-3, but um, for golfers that are interested and feel like they fit that profile of the TSI-4 driver, the second swing stores are the place to go to get fit like a pro. Uh, you can also contact our online fitting and support team and they'll set you up as well. So a um, couple of great options there, Thomas. T Titleist, TSI-4, TSI-3, both great. Uh, thank you for hitting the shots and providing the feedback today. Not a problem.